We got this article courtesy of Variety regarding BuzzFeed selling complex to network for $108.6 million, laying off 60% of the remaining workforce, which is kind of hilarious because complex is fucking shit. Um, I follow a few people on Twitter who are like complex writers and stuff, and they always seem to have the, t the worst opinions. I, d I don't think I've ever met a single person who works at complex on social media who doesn't just have the worst take. So a part of me would like to celebrate that these guys are all getting fired, but having been um, on the chopping block myself and having been at companies where people get laid off ma on mass, it's never a good feeling. It's never a nice feeling and I wouldn't want to show my worst enemy. So I do want to give all my support, all my solidarity to people like different complex who are had did get fired um hopefully you land on your feet hopefully you figure something out um you know know you're not alone um the feeling that you have now is fleeting and it will subside even though it's painful and it really does hurt especially that confusion that anxiety of what's gonna go what your future is gonna be um do know that that feeling will pass and as soon as you get another job you'll probably quickly forget about that period of time that you were there anyway so love and solidarity to all of my fallen complex com com comrades out there so let's read the article it says BuzzFeed has sold Complex, the youth cultural media company um, it brought three years ago and will pick, pink slip another 16% of the BuzzFeed remaining staffers in the restructuring redesigned. Um, let's read that one more time. BuzzFeed has sold Complex, the youth cultural media company it bought three years ago, and will pink slip another 16% of BuzzFeed's remaining staffers in a restructuring designed to get back on financial track. BuzzFeed announced on Wednesday they had closed the sale of Complex to the e-commerce platform Network in a 108.6 million all-cash deal. The LA-based network said that the, together with Complex, it will build a next generation of content and shopping experience and they described it as a new destination for superfans culture that will define the future of commerce. Digital media and music, investors in the newly merged company include Universal Music Group, Jimmy Iovine, Main Street Advisors and Goldman Sachs. I'm surprised, I'm not going to lie, I'm actually surprised that Network has 108 million to spend because I check out some of their videos online. If I'm going to go check out their YouTube right now, again, YouTube isn't a good reflection, I guess, of a company, but because they operate in like the streetwear, um, fashion-y type of sector, there's not a lot of people or companies that do that online, or especially on YouTube. So you'd imagine there'd be a lot of like demand for it, especially with the labels and the names they have attached to them. But I'm just checking on their network app now, or no, network account on YouTube. Their YouTube account has 25.6, 25.9 subscribers, thousand, right? And I'm just, a, I'm just, I think I've got 21. 1000 so it's not that money at all they've got videos on here featuring who we've got videos here featuring blasey from reconnect has got 10k we've got videos here with only 189 views videos with 60 619 views like crazy like to think that this company that doesn't do any bits on online hardly gets any traction with some of the stuff that they put out of online they've got a video here with swiss beats from two years ago only got twenty three thousand views like how they're able to generate or raise 108 million pounds or dollars sorry to buy complex in the first place is crazy and then to use that money to buy complex is fucking insane right if you've got 108 point million to spend maybe spend that in investing in your company not buying complex like what the fuck are they going to do with complex like it's already dead you know i mean it's already on the on, on this last breath if anything so like so buzzfeed really kind of cashed out on that one it continues in addition to the 108.6 million purchase price buzzfeed received an approximately 5.7 million related to complex's use of the company's new york offices and severance and other employee related costs buzzfeed acquired complex networks in 2021 approximately for 198 oh shit so they they lost a lot of money on that right buzzfeed acquired complex for 198 million in cash and 96 million in equity for a total price tag of 294 million so basically network were able to buy it under half price however that included complex's first week feast brand um how produced by the popular hot one series which was not sold to network so network bought it for 108 but it didn't get the most popular show which is hot ones fuck along with the complex sale buzzfeed announced that its new round of layoffs to cut expenses implementing a 16 percent reduction in its remaining workforce a bit under 1,000 people across the company i love how these articles never say the number first they always say the percentage 
I guess to take away the human factor, the real life factor of actual real life people being impacted by these layoffs. People are they're not sure where their next meal is going to come from. They're not sure how they're going to pay rent. They're not sure how they're going to put their kids through school. They're all worried, right? So they don't want to put the numbers of the people there because it's going to make people freak out. So they always put the percentages. But 1,000 people is a lot of people, bro, who are going to lose their full-time salaries. Like, So love and solidarity to all those people. The BuzzFeed job cuts are expected to yield approximately 23 million. God damn. The salaries at Complex must be substantial, isn't it? That's the thing that I really didn't do well when I was in my social media management marketing sort of like roles. I don't think I negotiated my salaries well. I don't think so. I think I was a little bit too, because I was so um, gung-ho and so dead sure that I was going to make it outside of my work. I didn't need to like have a job. I was kind of a bit arrogant and kind of took jobs a bit lightly. When I did get a job, I'll just take the offer because I knew I wasn't really bothered about it. I was just like, cool, I'm going to do my own thing. I'm going to be DJing. I'm going to be producing. I'm going to be fucking podcasting. I mean, I didn't really care about it, but I think that not caring about it fucked me because I was definitely underpaid in a lot of the roles I took. I definitely should have negotiated for more because people do get paid a lot for those shitty jobs that I have or those nonsense jobs I've had where you're a community manager or you're a marketing manager, marketing assistant, marketing executive, um, you know, uh, onboarding executive, community manager, I've said before, right? All these type of things that don't really mean much. Instead, instead of just like, all I did is basically write newsletters every week and post five days a week on fucking social media, do some paid marketing, spend shit. That's all I basically did. And I was getting paid, like, I think the highest I got paid when I was doing that with those roles might be like 35,000, maybe. Yeah, 35, 37,000, which isn't a lot really, especially when you consider that a lot of people that work in those fields can sometimes get 50, 60 plus so i definitely fucked myself because from 1000 people to be able to get 23 million like that's a lot that means you're paying those people a lot of money um it continues the layoffs of the buzzfeed in april 2023 announced was shuttering its profitable buzzfeed news division and laying off around 108 people going forward buzzfeed will focus on optimizing sustainable revenue streams with the highest margins um centered on four brand pillars buzzfeed first we feast half post tasty um the sale of complex represents a important strategic step to buzzfeed inc as we adapt our business to a more profitable more nimble and more innovative buzzfeed ceo Jonah Peretti said in a statement, this is also an opportunity to unlock um, greater value of the complex brand by combining the network's expansive e-commerce driven business. I'm really curious to see what happens with network. Like I said, because I don't think network is really going to be here for the long term. I'll be surprised. But the fact that they have 108 million to spend must mean they're doing something right. But let's see what network do with complex. But RIP complex, RIP people that work there and hopefully you guys all land on your feet hopefully all you guys land on your feet we can only hope and pray